Hello everybody and here is Max and this is our very first video on this new brand new channel Learn Programming Together and since this is very first video I would like to quickly introduce myself and introduce my channel and tell you what we're gonna do here so well my name is Max and I'm living in Austria in Vienna but if you wonder why this guy has such a strange and weird accent that you know that I am from originally from Ukraine so you know why so basically two words about my channel in this channel we are going to pick up and learn some new and interesting software development technologies and I will specially pick up technologies where I'm not really professional so for me it will be absolutely as for you we will just study together some technology and but not do it in some academic and dry way no we will just sit and develop together some real maybe some simple but real applications from beginning to the end and our very first application and very first technology will be mobile mobile development using android well why android for me the choice was was, was quite clear android devices simply hold the first uh, place in the world for market share and to get into android development is the easiest one basically in my professional career i am a software developer using uh, .NET technologies and C Sharp. That's why I am not proficient at all in uh, Java, which is required to develop in Android. But since I know C Sharp, I hope that Java will not be problematic for me at all. Well, I developed already a couple of quite a simple applications for Android just to to try but i am absolutely new to this so if you if somebody from you is proficient in this technology and see that i do something incorrectly or tell something which is not really true please correct me please write your comments and i will be really happy to hear from real professionals well in our this very first video we will just set up our environment and we will decide on which uh, IDE integrated development environment to use basically in the world of Android as well as far as, as I understood there are three main choices on which environment to use choice number one is the traditional one is Eclipse using ADT Android Development Tool plugin. Second choice, also quite popular, is to use IntelliJ IDEA environment. And third choice is a Android Studio, which is currently in the still in the beta phase, but already good enough to use it for for development and basically this is my choice I will be developing all applications using Android Studio so let's let's set up from very beginning Android Studio and then we'll be just write in uh, in Google Android Studio and proceed to the very first link well, and here we have starting page for Android Studio setup. We see that it's still in beta phase. And here all those great features of Android Studio are written. And here actually even there is some comparison between Android Studio and uh, Eclipse with ADT plugin. Biggest difference actually is a build system used in Android Studio it's a Gradle and in ADT 
in Eclipse it's end. Well, as we can see, they emphasize that Android Studio can uh, can much more. Also, except of NDK native development kit support. So that's as far as I know development on C++ for Android, which we will definitely will not do. And it's still in beta phase. It's still version zero point something. So I really look forward for version one for the first official version. But even this beta version zero point eight point fourteen as for time of writing is already good enough to develop any kind of application. At least it's good enough for our purposes, for learning purposes. Well, depends on when you watch this uh, video, maybe it will be like some another version, but sometimes uh, they produce a version which is not compatible with old one. So in this case, it's not possible to update from a previous one, but simply to download new one. Basically, when I was checking this website yesterday, it was simply download Android Studio without Android SDK. From today, as we see, it's already with Android SDK, but let's see is it true or not. So actually, let's click. Agree. Of course, we read everything here. Yeah? We agree for conditions and download it. Download started. So let me stop it because I already downloaded. But here, as you can see, there are instructions how to set up. So actually, we download this uh, zip archive and simply unzip it and uh, follow setup wizard and launch. Yeah, so actually, we have to. Uh, unzip and launch studio exe file. Okay, let's do it. So here I have unzipped version. Let's go and and run studio setup. And now it tells us that we have to install GDK, but I have already GDK installed. Here it says that path to GDK has to be in java.home uh, variable in environment variables so let's let's run environment variables and create new let's check actually do we have it or not GDK home, it has GDK home, but no, ah, it has Java. One second, what it, it says Java home should be in environment variables. Yeah, Java home. Com, home. It says, ah, actually, who is on 32 bit system just uses hint, but we are on 64 bit. So let's start Studio 64 bit uh, version. And here, once it's loaded, yeah, for me, everything already configured, but for you guys, once you will start it very first time, it will ask you to set up path to SDK and to GDK. So actually, if you proceed to configure to uh, project defaults and settings, Actually, no, I'm wrong, not, not project, project structure, yeah, project structure. Here, 
There are two parameters which you have to configure or maybe they will be reconfigured for you. So first it's GDK Java development kit location. Yeah, basically to the question which GDK to download. It's written in instructions, download and set up latest version, but not lower than six. So basically if you just uh, Google for GDK, let's check what is current version. So current version is GDK 8, yeah, definitely good enough. And I have this version installed. So basically here, if this parameter is empty, just locate and provide path where your GDK is installed. Second parameter which you need to configure is location to SDK, Android SDK. Android Software Development Kit, I downloaded it separately and have it just unpack it near my version of Android Studio and here is path to SDK. So if you want to download Android SDK separately, just Google Android SDK and uh, yeah, just click here, get SDK for existing IDE. But guys, if you already downloaded this version from this site, our very first one, it says that it's already with SDK. So for you, it should be already there. If by whatever reason is downloaded, you have old version or version without SDK, just download it separately here. Download the standalone Android SDK tools for Windows, unpack it and provide configure the, your path here to SDK. So basically once you have it configured, do following, run SDK manager and here's SDK manager and SDK manager is a tool which allows you to download latest and brightest versions of uh, Android. And as you can see, let's just minimize everything. As you can see, here we see all versions of Android we can develop against. So, and the latest one is Android Lollipop version 5.0, API version 21. And I don't have it installed. You see, it automatically suggests me to install it. I have now installed version 20 and even though that version 20 is installed anyway it suggests me some updates but you can do the, these updates or not but if you want you can of course download latest version 21 and develop against it so, and always actually try to build your applications against the latest version Additionally, you can download some additional tools and uh, some extra libraries. Most important here is support library, which allows to use features of newest uh, Android versions on all the devices with, with all the versions. And uh, yeah, so just Download the latest version, click install, it will install everything what you need. Second thing what, which you are doing in order to, uh, to develop, you have a choice how to run your application while in development. So either we will run it, you will run it in a simulator, which is quite slow, but getting better and better with every version, or you can plug your uh, real device. If you decided to plug in your real device, be sure that you activated USB debugging on your device. Who doesn't know what it means? Just Google how to enable, enable USB debugging. 
yeah, and read how to do it. It's very, uh, it's, it's very easy. Or during development, we can actually uh, use Android simulator in order to use simulator. And I will be using Android simulator just to be able to, to show you because I cannot show you how it looks on uh, my device, real device. So if you run AVD manager from SDK, from main folder, you will see that it's possible to create virtual uh, machines, virtual uh, images of uh, virtual devices and run your and install the, your application on this virtual device. So to create new device, just uh, use actually one already will be created automatically but to create new one just tap create specify some name specify uh, form factor and, and uh, yeah, mobile phone of with different resolutions which you want uh, specify target version of android here will be all versions listed which you downloaded using sdk manager and yeah give it some if you need internal storage some sd card and tap create so new image will be created but for development i will be using this default avd for nexus 5 by google virtual device so basically if you have everything configured correctly you have set up path to java development kit and to android sdk then we are ready to go and to create our project just tap this new project so here we will be developing fitness application and um, we will call it triple impact while triplet impact i will i will uh, explain you uh, later and here in company domain give your if you have some real website give it if not do uh, what i do just give some virtual domain virtual web uh, site which you would have if you would need it for example I write here balachev.com while because my last name is balachev and .com so then it creates android creates unique package name com.balachev.tripleimpact just by reversing putting com in the beginning and this package name then uh, works as a unique identifier of your application yeah just tap next here it asks us about minimum SDK version, which uh, so it asks us which minimum Android version will be supported by our application. We will choose version three, Honeycomb. Why version three? Because if you want to use less than version three, then maybe for some features support library which will, will be required and we, but we don't want for now to use any support library features but even by choosing version 3 it says that 88 persons of all devices currently on the market will be supported tap next here uh, wizard asks us which kind of application which kind of first uh, activity do we want to create so it can automatically create already set up as activities fragments or yeah, google maps what else but for our very simple first application we'll need blank activity as a main activity we can change it anytime that's only to simplify our life well our very first activity we will con we will leave main activity yeah or you can call it home activity 
it will automatically generate your layout name, web, uh, layout uh, file, resources file, give it some title. Okay, it's good enough for our purposes. So, we created our very first, our basic uh, actual application. It can absolutely nothing for now, but we will continue on next video and already will start to do something real. So just for now, we have empty skeleton of our application. We set up our environment. It is working and we are ready to go and create our first exciting application. That was a Max from channel Learn Programming Together. See you in the next video. Goodbye.